Welcome to Vedantu's Life in English channel. My name is Anup, Mass Teacher of Physics here at Vedantu. I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, science exams right around the corner and your tension about the science exam is also very, very high. So here are a few things that I have done and I think you can also implement that could actually help you score really well in your science exam. All right. So listen very carefully. I'll keep it very short and sweet. But let's go people. The first tip that I would like to give you guys is this. Please make sure to refer your NCR to your textbook more than your reference books. See, at the end of the day, people, uh, you need to understand the concepts. And if you know the concepts, you can attempt any sort of question that is asked in your boards. So make it a point to refer your textbooks. Give more importance to your textbooks than to your reference book, right? Whatever the reference book you might use. It is important, I'm not saying no, but make sure you give more importance to your textbook. That is tip number one. Tip number two would be to prepare a proper formula sheet. Now, especially when it comes to electricity, you know that there are a lot of formulas and each of them are equally important. So make it a point to always, always, always carry that around, not to your exam hall, but at least with you wherever you go. So you keep an, uh, keep a check on the formulas and keep asking yourself these formulas so you don't ever forget this in the time of your board exam. That is tip number two. Make sure you carry a formula cheat sheet. The third one would be to attempt all your previous, your question papers. That is equally important because time and again, people, CBSE would give you a similar type of question, not the exact same one, but you would definitely be getting similar type of questions. So if you have practiced the past year question papers, it gets a lot more easier while you're giving your boards. So make sure you practice the previous year question papers at least the last three to five years so you should have done by now. If you haven't done it yet, don't worry, you still have a good amount of time. Make sure you do it in the next couple of days. बच्चों के मार्क्स जितने कम आते हैं पापा का वॉल्यूम उतना ही बढ़ जाता है ये होती है पढ़ाई पर कभी सोचा है कि मार्क्स बढ़ाने की जिम्मेदारी सिर्फ बच्चों की क्यों अब वेदांत तो मार्क्स बढ़ाने की जिम्मेदारी लेगा वरना आपकी पूरी फीस वापस टिप नंबर फोर वुड बी टू हैव अ बैलेंस्ड स्टडी स्केड्यूल सी हियर इज द थिंग Sometimes when you're studying physics, it can get a little overwhelming. And that is understandable. We all get overwhelmed at times, right? So I would say a very simple thing. This is what I did in my boards as well. Something that you could also use. And that is basically people, whenever you're feeling overwhelmed or whenever you feel like this subject has become a little too much for me, then switch it. Basically have a proper plan for it as well. It should not be very random. But you should have a proper plan for that as well. Make sure you're having a mix of biology, chemistry and physics. So it's balanced. Your brain also doesn't get overwhelmed and you are able to perform your very best. So that, my friends, is tip number four. Tip number five would be to highlight all the important points. Now, just to give you an example, electricity, you guys know that uh, Joule's law of heating and Ohm's law, all of these are very, very important. So make sure you highlight that in your textbooks and also write it down in your notes, whatever is important. And that goes for all the three subjects, not just for physics, because again, that could help you to revise the concepts in the last, you know, the last hour that you say, right? When you're traveling to your school or uh, otherwise also, you could actually refer that and it would save a lot of time and makes your life a lot more easier. Tip number six, the last one is something which is related to your examination, what you do in your exam. And that, my friends, is to have a really neat answer sheet. Make sure you have a good handwriting in your exam. Make sure you keep it neat. Don't have a lot of scribbles and stuff. Again, uh, coming from me, again, it's coming from me because a lot of you guys already know I have the best handwriting. Uh, sarcastically speaking uh, but yes make sure you have a clear handwriting a neat legible handwriting so that the teachers can easily read your paper and it will not take a lot of time for them to correct it as well all right so these are some of the tips people let me know in the comments how or whether it was helpful or not but yes we will be coming out with the marathon series in the next couple of days the next couple of days we're going to drill 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 all the subjects of science and make sure you guys go well. So join us. Make sure you subscribe and like the video if you like it. Yeah, peace. Exam se pehle ghar wale shuru ho jaate. Batao tu pilo beta.
मार्क्स के लिए ना टिप्स हर कोई देता है इसलिए वेदांत तो इंप्रूवमेंट प्रॉमिस अब वेदांत तो मार्क्स बढ़ाने की जिम्मेदारी लेगा वरना आपकी पूरी फीस वापस